If you want to program one of the Scorehoy units, the larger models with the Arduino Mega inside, all you need is a simple USB cable called AB, that kind of cable that has a connector you may be able to see on, on the picture right here, the one I'm pointing to, and it's connected to your laptop. And in this video, I'm walking you through how you can install the Arduino environment on a Windows laptop. This is Windows 7, we are running on this particular one. So what you need to do is to go to the Arduino website, arduino.cc, and there'll be a section called Downloads. And if you scroll down on this page, you find a link for Windows, and that will initiate a download of a zip file. And the zip file probably ends up on your, uh, in your Downloads folder, and um, then you enter the zip file. If you double click this guy, it will ask you to extract all files from the zip file and you answer yes. So uh, this is, I guess, your chance to decide where these should be extracted. We are um, probably just gonna do it in this folder. So in Downloads Arduino, it's extracting files. And we are closing in on an end and the files are now extracted. It's located in, um, in this folder, hopefully, and we can run this application. So, we do that, we see this, and the, the first thing you usually do when you have an Arduino connected to your computer is to try and upload the Blink sketch. Now, in uh, the case of, um, of this model, it's probably gonna be a bad idea because we cannot see anything Blink inside since it's all in the enclosure, but we can still, um, upload some sketch uh, that will confirm that we have a connection to the Arduino. So let me show you how we are able to do that. Um, we will go to, uh, this is a Danish version as you probably noticed. So um, from the file menu, there's a menu item called examples, and then you could go to basics and let's do something like reading out the analog um, uh, one of the analog inputs uh, to the serial monitor. So um, we have this sketch now and uh, we could try right away to just press the upload, compile and upload button. So what you see right now is it's compiling the sketch and then it tells me that the serial port COM1 is not found. And uh, this is where you may need to, um, to go to, let me see, okay. So, as the computer tells us, there is no serial port COM1 found and um, what it tells us to try is to select the serial port from this menu item, but we can't because there seems to be no serial ports installed. And that's why I go to um, the, the device manager, I go to the device manager this way through properties, device manager and uh, we see there's an unknown device. And it turns out that when I unplug the USB cable, the unknown device um, disappears from the list. And uh, when I plug in the cable again, you'll see that the unknown device appears. So, um So now after returning to the Arduino environment, we will see that the serial port is now available, COM3, so we select that and we make another attempt to upload. We'll see that it's getting somewhat further. So it seems that the upload is done, but actually we have an error right here. And it's not entirely clear that it didn't perform as it should, but there's a very important step that we overlooked and that is you need to decide which kind of Arduino you are working with. And in almost all Scorehead products, we are using either the Arduino Ethernet or the Arduino Mega 2560. So we select this one, try to upload again. Look what happens down here. It's compiling the sketch, starts the upload, and it says upload done. Actually, I'll just just a little uh, side note, I would love or uh, um, like to suggest to you that you enable uh, verbose output for compilation and upload. 
So what happens here is that you see a little bit more information. Okay, maybe it, it looked a little bit overwhelming for you, but I like this message. It tells me that upload is done, thank you. And um, if you see nothing else than this, then it, it's usually an indication that everything went fine. So how can we now see that this uh, sketch is actually uploaded uh, and performing a function? And uh, I uploaded the analog serial readout. So what it does is it reads the, the value of one of the analog input pins on the Arduino and it will output it to the serial monitor. The serial monitor is essentially uh, a signal back to the computer. So uh, what I do is I go to the tools menu, I open the serial monitor uh, link, which is this guy, and it tells me this. So it, it's a lot of zeros in this case because it's reading, let us just see, it's reading the value of uh, a zero. And in this particular model, it's connected to something. So let's read the value of A3, which is not connected to something. So we should see a lot of arbitrary numbers. We upload, the upload is done. We open the serial monitor. And there we go. We see a lot of random values coming from electrical noise in the room. So basically, we now installed the Arduino environment under Windows 7. We saw how we could also add the driver for the Arduino Mega that we are using and successfully upload a sketch to it.